morning. Today I'm at Wabasso, Wabasso Causeway, and um, I'm doing a seagrass video, and I'm going to check out an area that I checked out last year that had some of the most beautiful seagrass I'd seen in the lagoon in a long time. Water visibility was six or seven feet, beautiful grass, and that was a year ago. And since that time, the grass has disappeared. I don't know. It, it, I think it was manatees came up there and herded up on it and ate it all because it was beautiful stuff and these guys haven't been eating very good stuff for a long time so it's like coming across a filet mignon but uh, a year later let's see what's going on uh, hopefully the grass is coming back and hopefully it's looking really good so seagrass video from Wabasso I will be going back to Black Point and checking that out later this week when the winds are a little less well, of course, on the way out to do the seagrass videos, I got to bring a fishing rod, actually three. And uh, fishing this area, and that's northwest side of Wabasso Causeway. Um, it's a little nursery. I mean, I've caught everything I caught was small. Caught five small snook, and uh, a little baby Goliath grouper, some baby snappers, and um, I still got to paddle all the way back, so. Looking for redfish or something or a big snook along the uh, shoreline, so I'm just going to paddle back. If I sight see one, I'm going to sight fish to it. The water is clear enough along the shoreline that I should be able to do that. So uh, onward to the seagrass. Okay, what I found today over in Wabasso was water was nothing like it was last year. You know, um, put the cameras down and about four foot of water. That's where I saw all that lush seagrass. And I couldn't really tell what was down there. I kind of felt the bottom with the camera. It didn't feel like much going on. Water quality wasn't that good. I did see another patch a little bit further to the north. A little clear water, a little something growing. But uh, a long way to go. I mean, nothing like it was last year. I had hopes, so high hopes for that area. The water was just unbelievable. Unbelievable seagrass. And I was just hoping it was the beginning. But uh, it went away. Now, I did see a, there are a lot of oysters right off from the shoreline. And you go out maybe, you know, 20 feet to 50 feet. There's, you start coming across a lot of oysters. There is some algae on them and stuff. I don't know how healthy they are, but tons and tons of oyster. Water quality is a little bit better in that section. As you get a little bit deeper, the seagrass is not there. So Now, don't confuse this spot with Black Point, which is areas I've been showing mostly. I will be out there probably in a day or two when the winds calm down a little bit. We've got a nice west wind, and it really makes it hard for me to paddle back across. But... Uh, I will be there, put the cameras down, because it was looking pretty good there, and hopefully I got something good to report uh, within a week. Um, I will have my cameras down and be checking out Black Point again. But uh, Wabasso, I was on the uh, northwest side. I think next time I'm going to try the northeast side. Excuse me, southwest side, and go down there and see what was going on. I never really paddled that area. And... Uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll be surprised. But uh, appreciate you watching these videos, and always thank you for subscribing to my channel. This is Pete Hink. We'll see you next time.